this one a hit. So we here with another video. The video we about to do today is a question and answer. Question and answer. Y'all been asking for us to do it for a minute. So we here and we about to, you know, throw one down for y'all. Y'all know. know if y'all got some extra questions and some extra stuff y'all want us to answer, go ahead and put it in the comments. In the comments. Drop it. Uh -huh. All right. So we're going to go with the first one that we got hit up with today. Let's see what it is. All right. The first one is for you. <laughs> I guess I got to answer it too, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, so the first one is, what embarrasses you the most? And what been your most embarrassing moment? What embarrasses me the most and what's been my most embarrassing moment? Uh, what embarrasses me the most is, okay, what embarrasses me the most when uh, is when I like, like when I, you know, I'm out and I'm hanging out and I get a little bit too tipsy and I don't remember what happened. And then somebody had called me the next day and was like, ooh, you did this yesterday, but it was, it was so cool, but to me it was like embarrassing because I was like, I don't remember what happened. You know what I'm saying? That's always the most embarrassing for me. See? And what was the other part? Uh, and what's your embarrassing moment? My most embarrassing moment. Uh, probably when I was uh, when I was at school, and uh, and uh, we had a uh, <laughs> we had a contest on uh, on who can pick up the heaviest person. We were trying to like you know be strong and stuff, and I went and. Picked the girl up and I, she was big. She was a big girl. I picked her up and I had her up there, but I fired it, shit it on myself just a little bit, and it came all the way out. Ooh, that's low. When I had to walk to the bathroom like a pig with his stuff, and I said, "Where you going, Eric?" I said, "I'm just going down here for a little man." <laughs> man, man. What about you? Uh, my the, okay. Well, let me read the question. What embarrassing? What the thing that embarrassed me the most? Um. What embarrasses me the most? The most thing that embarrasses me the most is like, uh, say for instance, if uh, I got an itch. Mm -hmm. If I got an itch, <laughs> a real bad itch, and you know you walking and you setting, and you try to not let nobody see you, mm -hmm. but somebody end up popping and seeing mm -hmm. you when you take that little booty <laughs> itch, you holding it, you don't want to itch it at all, but you just, you just itch gotta, it, and then you look it back and see, next thing you know somebody watching you get yeah. that itch out, and you... I mean, you nasty after that. Yeah, um, <laughs> yeah they gonna look at you. I guess that's one of my embarrassing moments. And like, um, but no, my most embarrassing moment is, um, what's my most embarrassing moment? When you driving, and you driving in the car, and you do this, and one of them big long ones go up in your nose, and it go in there, and you in the car, and you just gotta go get it. Mm -hmm, gotta and get then you look it. over. And there's somebody in the next car <laughs> watching you. That's my most embarrassing moment. It's digging in my nose. I don't dig in my nose often, but I had to dig that day because it went all the way up there. When that happened to me, all I do is pull off and laugh. Right. I said, say, he caught me digging. I ain't going to see them no more. Never again. But you, you hate see them at a store right. or something. They'd be like, that's that dude that was digging in his nose. Mm -hmm. Do the house stuff. All right, the second question to you, Eric, is who do you look up to the most? And what qualities do you love about that person? Who do I look up the, to the most? Uh, number one, being God, of course. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, and no disrespect to people that's not religious, but uh, God being the most, and uh, and you know, and it's gonna be funny saying this, but probably you. That's what's up. Probably, what's probably, up. probably this dude right here. <laughs> I've been around this dude since I was little, man, and. Uh, I learned so many traits from him and his brother too. Um, you know, just yeah, probably him. Um, one of the best qualities he has is uh, is probably like uh, keeping me on track. You know what I'm saying? Like I um, uh, like you know, he he's, he's a good like mentor. You know what I'm saying? Like he he keeps me on track and stuff. You know, whenever we have a disagreement or something like that, it's always hard to to you know cope with it because you know that's the person that really keep me keep me on my, keep me on my head you know i think if it's if it wasn't for this dude right here man i i'd be a mess you know so probably you we both did and i know you probably weren't expecting that for this no, video it kind of wasn't it was out of it was out of the way yeah it was out of the way um but that's what's up mm -hmm. that's what's up for me um for me mm -hmm. who i look up to the most um I like the God thing that you were saying, because God, yes, I do look up to God the most. I love his loving for everybody. It's a person who continues to love forever, so I, I love that. Yeah. Um, and I, I want to be a person who loves everybody, mm -hmm. so I do look up to God. Um, 
the qualities uh, that I love about a person, I, actually, I can say about you. Mm -hmm. You keep it 100. Mm -hmm. You real about your shit. Yeah. You don't take no crap from nobody. Mm -hmm. I figured that out this weekend because whoever this was that was doing this, <laughs> close to his nose, he was like, hold on, wait. Hold on, wait. We don't play that around here. Right. And I like that. Like, he, 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 he forward about all his shit. So, I think that's really cool. It kind of it makes me want to be like that. I want to be like, okay, well, I need to be more forward too. You know what I'm saying? And I think that that's real. Um, yeah, that's love right there. All day. And uh, yeah. And and I, and I think you know that's what what makes us close mm -hmm. as we are, uh, because uh, we got something to bring to the table. You know, as everybody brings something to the table, you know, it lasts long. Like I was a, uh, I I met a girl last night, and she said, uh, she said, me and her, me and this girl, we've been friends since we was uh four and five years old. See? And you know when there's good relationships. Yeah, there's good relationships, and especially in 2022. You're not really coming across that kind of stuff. Not anymore. anymore. You know, so. Not anymore. I don't even. I don't even know. See. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. It's not really out there like that no more. Like like today, like uh, like I had a problem with my car, and uh, and I just was just go, scro scrolling through my phone, and I was thinking to myself, <laughs> like I really ain't got nobody to call. Ain't that fucked up? You know up? what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. it's just, it's just like that. It's just like true. That. Next question. What is your biggest fear? My biggest fear. Oh, that's not hard at all. My biggest fear is uh and I, and I know and I know um this is probably like a usual one, but it's just how you know it's real. Mm -hmm. Like I'm like I'm really like I really fear of failing. See? And it and it, and it's not even just like with the stuff I want to do like acting acting and stuff. It's just like I just just scared of failing. Period. Like like I just started this new job. I'm scared to to do something wrong in there, I wanna, I wanna do it. I, do, I wanna do it right, you know. And I'm driving. I wanna make sure I'm driving right, you know. what I'm saying I, uh, I just, I just, I'm just always scared to fail. I always feel like something bad is gonna happen to me if I fail at something. Mm -hmm. Knowing that, you know, I need to fail to learn. But, um, that's just probably one of my biggest fears. I hate to fail. I hate mm -hmm. failing. I hate to thought of it. You know, I fear that the most. See, that's good. That's a good one. That made me have to think now. Mm -hmm. Um, my biggest fear, my big, my biggest fear is probably losing my brother. Yeah, I don't know how how I would be if I lost him, mm -hmm. or if I. I mean, it'd be times I'd be like, damn, I'd be thinking about getting in accidents. I'd be thinking about dying, mm -hmm. and I, I just wonder. I, my feeling on how I feel <laughs> about that, I feel like that for him. Mm -hmm. So my biggest thing is I know if he was to leave or if he was gone, mm -hmm. that um. I probably lose it. Mm -hmm. I probably lose it. Mm -hmm. I mean, I wouldn't lose it, of course, because I got you. Mm -hmm. You know, but but I mean, I, I mean, that's just, just your a, brother. Being my brother and my twin, and yeah. just to be like, what the that's fuck? That's like, like part of you. That's yeah. like losing a part of you. That's like I call this dude like consistently. Mm -hmm. Uh, we talk all the time. It's like mm -hmm. I don't know. It's mm -hmm. like I don't know what I would do without it. It's the twin power thing. It's the it's a twin thing. You know, yeah. a lot of us don't understand. It's only is it only twins do? Mm -hmm. To all the twins out there, yeah, I understand. Yeah. All right, so the next question is, not going to ask that one. <laughs> Sorry to the ones that we are asking that question for. Uh, what's your all-time favorite memory? All-time? I can't say that on camera. <laughs> what popped in my head right away. <laughs> can't say that on camera. Mm -hmm. um, all-time favorite memory, 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 memory. Um... You know, all my favorite memories are not uh, appropriate memories. <laughs> so I'm trying to, I'm trying to think of the right, right one. Um, mm -hmm. I, if I go back to uh, okay, 2020, when um when the pandemic came, uh, for us, that that, that pandemic didn't stop no show. Didn't stop no show didn't at stop all. No show. Not we at kicked all. It. I wasn't li we wasn't living in the same city at the time, mm -hmm. and he came. Him and his crew came, and uh, we all stayed at my aunt's house, and uh, mm -hmm. we all just packed in there. We uh, we was riding around Detroit City, and we went to parks and beaches, and the casino and, was the one. And the casino, we did all that. The casino was the one. And um, and all it was downtown. And it was so cool to me because I had both of my crews. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I always had two crews. I had my older crew, which is my aunties and them. And uh, and them, you know what I'm saying? And they, I had them both together, we and we just in. fought out of control. We was locked. You in. just had to be there. We yeah, just we just had so it. much fun. We was locked in. I'm telling you. Yeah, unemployment didn't true. have anything to do with it either. 
Nope, not yet. <laughs> not just yet. Yeah. My favorite all-time favorite memory. I was at uh, is it Cedar Point or Michigan Flags? What I mean, what is it? I mean, Michigan Adventures, not Michigan Flags. Mm -hmm. uh, but I was at Michigan Adventures, and I don't really fuck with heights. Mm -hmm. I was scared out my mind. See. But I went on the zipper. Is it the zipper? I don't even know if it's a zipper. It's something. It's something that you go all the way up in the air. Like you go up like 300 and some feet in the air. And then you drop down. The rip cord. It was the rip cord. And you pull, you pull a cord. I was with my ex-girlfriend and we was on there. And she was like, you just going to pull it. I'm like, I'm not pulling it. You pulling it. She was like, no, you going to pull it. I was like, I'm not pulling shit. You're pulling it. Pulling no cord. So eventually I just pulled the cord and I swear to God, I thought we died in the air. I thought we was already dead. <laughs> It was yeah. my, it's the, it's That's something to Michigan remember. Adventures. Yep, it's something to remember. Whoever ain't did it yet, do the rip court at Michigan Adventures and feel your life before your eyes. Mm -hmm. Telling yeah. you. Shout out to Michigan Adventures. Shout out to I Michigan Adventures. I think they about to sell it, ain't they? I don't know. That, that's the only thing Michigan got. I know that's going to be messed up if they get rid of it. You know, no shade to the Michiganders. No, no shade, shade, no shade. Michigan. But we born as fuck here anyway. Yeah. So get rid of the fun shit. Now, yes, um, yeah. the next question. Who was the last person to make you cry and why? That's a hard one. <laughs> yeah, cause I I don't cry. Mm -mm. Um, unless you know, you know. But um, the last time the last time I like really cried is when my uh, when my aunt passed. I'm sorry to um, hear that. But uh, somebody that made me cry the last time, uh. Probably, probably, probably was my ex. I, uh, I really had a had a lot of love for my ex, and so, uh, and it just went, it went bad. It'd know? be like that. Something personal. We we'll talk about that on another video. On another video. Mm -hmm. The last person that made me cry, I'm gonna keep it 100. To all the people who watch Grey's Anatomy, mm -hmm. Grey's Anatomy, I'm a Grey's Anatomy fan all day long. Um, Miranda. Miranda mm -hmm. was the last person who made me yeah, cry. Miranda knows she need to quit. She do, but she did something really sweet. She took that boy in. Mm -hmm. Remember? Oh, you ain't made it to that part yet. You gonna tell me about Ooh, all that? Oh, I'm sorry, y'all. I can't really keep. I can't tell him. I can't tell it because Didi's still far behind. Mm -hmm. I'm up to the point where Miranda did something special, and I thought that was really sweet of her to do that. It was this kid that had nobody. I can't tell too much of it, but she did. She took him in, so that's mm -hmm. all I can say because. He got to watch it, so. But I'm catching up, though. Yeah. He still think that I'm, like, you know, a lot of shit. I'm, I'm yeah. right behind. I'm, I'm mm -hmm. like, right here. He right here. I'm right here. Mm -hmm. Catching up. But that's what one of my peoples. If you watch it, then you know what I'm talking about. We're going to the next question. <laughs> yeah. What do you hope to do? What do you hope to be five years from now, 10 or 15? I seen a, uh, a little thing on Facebook. Uh, mm -hmm. And it was like, where do you see yourself in five years? Mm -hmm. And the girl that got on there, she was like, uh, I don't know about all that. She said, I'm just trying to bake it to Friday. <laughs> <laughs> she said, I'm just trying to bake it to Friday. Just trying to bake it to Friday. No, in five years, I want to be somewhere good. I'm an aspiring actor, model, and dancer. I want to be in one of those fields, doing it professionally, performing in front of a nice group of audiences. Mm -hmm. But if I have not made it to that point to where I'm you know, going to be doing doing it professionally yet, and still training myself and stuff. Um, I want to I want to be still elevated. You know what I'm saying? I want to be living a comfortable life. You know what I'm saying? In five years, I don't want to be in a predicament where I have to work a nine to five. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, nine to five. Oh my gosh! Yeah. To all the people who who ain't doing it, chase your dreams, yeah, yeah. live your life, because a nine to five is nothing but wasting your, your time. whole life up. You're gonna be able to do nothing. You know. Nine to five. Well, that's all your day. <laughs> that's that's all, all your day. day. <laughs> yeah. I hate working nine to five. And, and, and the thing is, is with everything being so high and what the government got going on, you know, it's like we gotta work. You know what I'm True. saying? We gotta work, and it's and it's hard for people like us to have dreams and stuff like that. But you know, I'm getting to a point to where now, like, I just I want to just go out on some thin. I want to just go. Out, I want to go out on some uh, on like on thin ice. And I just want to risk it all because I really have a lot of love for, you know, my dream. You know what I'm saying? I really want to chase my dream. So I won't be doing this long. So the next five years, I'm going to be somewhere. I'm going to be on somebody's TV. Exactly. I'm going to claim it. Right now. I'm you want to be somebody. If you want to go somewhere, then you better wake up and pay attention. Mm -hmm. Yeah, y'all heard that from Whoopi Goldberg. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Whoopi! <Tell me. laughs> Uh, where I see myself at from five years from now, as he said, I do the same thing as him. Um, 
I do this too. I see myself bigger than what it is now. I guess I got to start really promoting myself and really pushing myself harder. But I want to be a professional actor. I want to be the next Denzel Washington, if not better. Mm -hmm. I want to be the next Chad. Is it Chad what? Chad Worswick? How you say his name? He passed away, Black never, Panther. Never. Oh, oh, um, uh, oh, Chad McBoseman. Rest yeah. in peace, big homie. Rest in peace. I want to be like that him. That was an amazing man. I want to do like great stuff. I want to tell stories. I want to tell positive stories. You know, stories that motivate people. Yeah. That's the kind of stuff I want to do when I do acting. Um, yeah. And I look forward to doing that. And yeah. I'm talking about soon. So, mm, yeah, yeah. That's my uh, thing for that. That's what I want to see myself. Yeah, we basically do the same kind of stuff, man. Yep. That's why we so close. For real, for real. Yeah. So, Divi, uh, or Eric. E. Hetty. D e. Hetty. I keep saying all his names and give, giving out his government. <laughs> My bad. Yeah. Alright, so um Have you ever been bullied? Yeah. You have? I have been bullied. Man. Um it was one time uh and 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 like my and like my middle school and high school years, I was a little bit I was I wasn't like the most popular, but I had popularity. Uh but in elementary I didn't really get, uh, I didn't have a lot of popularity. I was like really a lame ass kid. And uh, even with these boys, it was, uh, I ain't gonna say their names because they probably gonna see this video. But sure uh, will. but it was, it was these three boys and they were, they were Hispanic. And uh, you know, they just, they just didn't, they just didn't like me. You know, I've always had a, I always had an older soul, you know, so they would always make fun of me and stuff. And, and you know, knowing me being me, I just, got pissed one day. I was like, I was in, I was in the fifth grade, I believe. I was in the fifth grade. I was in the fifth grade. And, um, <laughs> um sorry, yeah, we laughing at the dogs. They trying to have sex. Um, I was in the fifth grade and, the, um, and I just got pissed and I, uh, I went off. I snapped. I snapped hard. And, uh, and I, I was coming out, I was coming outside of the school. You know, my mom was on, in the parking lot, wait, carpool waiting for me. And the boys, they came out and they started just throwing shit at me and, and they jumped me and they started beating me up and stuff. That was, uh, that's probably the only bullying memory that I got though, because after that, I got to kick an ass. Hey, and man. That was a lesson for me. Um, have I been bullied? Yes. Um, I've been bullied. I, when I was in high school, I did a lot of, I, I want to say it happened more. It was <laughs> middle school too. Yeah, yeah. It happened more. When uh, I was in the younger years, but I want to say yeah, eighth yeah. ninth grade, yeah, yeah. Maybe, you know, I think I my, I started getting a little bit popular and stuff. It started to be more accepted when I was in like the tenth and twelfth. Yeah, and shit. same here, same here. That's when I joined the basketball team finally. But uh, yeah. So oh, yeah, what happened? People was, on the basketball team used to burn me up because they thought they was the stuff. Then, then, you know, the basketball teams always was the high heads. Mm -hmm. Basketball team and football team never yeah. could get along. Never could get along. Nope. But uh, what happened was I was in choir. Mm -hmm. I did choir, so I was the boy in choir, the black boy in choir doing, you know, shows and all that stuff. So I was getting called out my name, getting talked about, getting pushed around. Mm -hmm. People coming, wanting to fight and all that kind of dumb stuff. You know, just be, just bullying me, just persuading me. Me and my brother had to go through a lot when we was in high school. We had to fight because my brother had to fight because I had to fight. Mm -hmm. So it was a lot of, you know, that, talking, pushing, nagging, you know, and just trying to push me out of my character. Mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much the only bully that I really had up until about the 10th grade when I left and went to buy an alternative. Mm -hmm. And then when I came back, it was just another, you know, another savage Denzel. Now, have you have you ever did any bullying to anybody? Never bullied a person, Never though. bullied a person? Never bullied. Okay. Not even a nerd. Mm -hmm. I was a nerd, so I couldn't bully nobody. Plus, I didn't like being bullied, so. I was, I would, I would never say I bullied people, but I've always been more like a, like the comedic type. Yeah. So I, I joke too. Yes, yeah, that, that's what I was going to say. Yeah, I, I crack jokes crack some jokes. I, I hope that wasn't bullying because like, I know she didn't walk past me mm -hmm. smelling like a belly gum. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I would say like stuff that. like that, you know. Plus I was the kind of kid I was the kind of kid who watched the grassy and shit. So mm -hmm. when I watched the grassy, I seen how they was bullying the gays and bullying mm -hmm. the nerds and all that stuff. And I just wasn't with that because all them motherfuckers came back with a gun. Bop! Yeah. And shot everybody. <laughs> so I just didn't want to get Got shot. On I wanted to be the friend just in case they was like, somebody wanted to go shoot somebody in the school. They could say, then tell you go. Yeah. Right. So that's my thing. What celebrity would you want as your other BFF and why? 
what celebrity would I want as my other BFF? Yeah. Like best friend forever? Yes. Oh, that ain't hard at all. Ooh. Taraji P. Henson all day long. I want Taraji P. Henson. Taraji P. I want Taraji. P. Henson. I want Taraji. She cold as fuck and she seemed like she'd be a cool person to be around. Man, I and love Taraji. Taraji, from... if you see this, shout out to you. I love you. And when I get up there, I'm coming to see you. Amen. I'm going to knock on your door and we're going to drink wine. Yep. Good wine. Mm -hmm. And then after that, you're going to teach us Yeah, because you're going to pay for it. I'm telling you. Ah, in your pockets. <laughs> um, for me, Michael B. Jordan all day. Mm -hmm. I feel like I can hang with Michael B. Jordan. I can kick it with him. I can learn from him. And then, you know, mm -hmm. Michael B. Jordan. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. But, yeah, Michael I fuck with Michael B. Let's see. What's our next question? Shout out to Mike. Michael B. I hope you're coming out with that next... Uh, what is that movie called? Creed. Creed. Yeah, Creed. Creed. Come Come on, and I know that, you know I know all his movies. Mm -hmm. I couldn't think about it at the time. Mm -hmm. What do you do when no one else is around? I can't say that on camera. <laughs> 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 um, yeah. What I do when no one else is around, I'm going to say this. And this is very, uh, what is the word? Is it ther therapeutic? Mm -hmm. It's like, like it's therapy for yourself. Um, I talk to myself. I talk to myself. Um. That is my piece. I figure out my plans. I figure out how I'm feeling. I uh, I really talk to myself. See, and uh, it's very it's it's like therapy for me. Mm -hmm. And that's why when I was going to like you know counseling and stuff, when I was going through anxiety and all that, it didn't work. It was it was I mean, it was good because you had like a virgin ear to talk to, but then it just it's just something about talking to yourself. So. When people say you're crazy if you talk to yourself, you're not crazy. Don't let nobody make you think that you're crazy for talking to yourself because I have made it through a lot of things by talking to myself. So when nobody else laid around, I talk to myself. See? Mm -hmm. so somebody better go get their dog. <laughs> <laughs> Before you have a mixture. I like breed. that little dog, though. Dig it for that. They're going to be some mixtures because he is <clears> not playing. Yeah, block this video. Um, so for me, um, what was the question? Uh, what do you do when no one else is around? Okay, um, me for myself, um, I'm into a lot of like, I mean, the shit I can't say, I can't say. <laughs> I'm into yeah. a lot of shit that I, I like to do, like editing videos, and you yeah. know, I like to do that as Make a hobby. I play the video and games and shit. So I'm into. I don't know if a lot of y'all into Fortnite. I play Fortnite. I play um, Cold War. I play 2K. My brother, that's his favorite game. So we on there all day. He cussing me out. Shout out Treasy. What up, Treasy? And then if y'all know about the AMB Marie, look her up too, AMB Marie 03. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's what my brother, that's my brother's brand for his daughter. They doing their thing. She hooping and stuff like that. Check that out. Mm -hmm. But yeah, my brother's a basketball player, so we do a lot of 2K and stuff like that. But that's when nobody's around, you know. Mm -hmm. Uh other than that, then when I'm just chilling on my own, sometimes I like to just get in my meditation mode mm -hmm. and try to figure myself out. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of stuff that I'm going through right now, so I just want to be able to just, you know, mm -hmm. cope with a lot of that shit and, yeah. you know, get it through. Mm -hmm. Could you stop pumping, dog? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, let's ask the next question. Have a mixed breed. What do you think happened when you die? What do I think happened when I die? I, uh, like I said, you know, no shade to people out there that's non-religious. Uh, but... You know, I think uh, I I personally believe that uh, that God has somewhere special planned for us, as He promised. You know what I'm saying? I don't think that like like when we die, it's just the end. We just go up there to heaven, or we just go to hell, and uh, that's just it. I you know when we die, that's eternity. And I think that when we go, it's just going to be like another life. We just we just starting all over again, but in a better place. You know, something that God provided for us. And uh, cause I, cause I don't think God would bless us with all this gift and things that we have, you know, and uh, and it just, just we just die. You know what I'm saying? If I went outside right now and got hit by a bus, you know, and my gift is just gone like that, no, I don't, I don't believe that. So I believe that when we die, it's something, it's something after that. Me too. I do believe, I believe that in as well. Life. I believe that there is another life that we go to. I believe that when we die from this life, we go on. Of course. I, Shit, Mario come back every time he die in a video game. <laughs> he come back and he get to do it again. Yeah. So I believe we get to do it again. I don't think it just end. I think that we are spiritually in we we human now. This is our avatar body. We human now, but I believe we go on to another. We be, we were reborn again. We might not remember mm -hmm. what happened within the life before, but I believe that we already was already here. Mm -hmm. So 
I believe it's just you moving on to another life. Mm -hmm. You know, you're going to keep going. It's just going to keep going until somebody stops this shit. And mm -hmm. one day it will be stopped, but just not right now. God not ready to. And I believe God is a loving God, so he's not mm -hmm. going to just destroy you and just let you just be gone because yeah. he already built you to be here. So mm -hmm. you're going to continue to keep going. Yeah. And these are just opinions, by the way, guys. Oh, yeah. So just opinions. opinions. That's what I just uh, feel. Mm -hmm. Um... We're going to leave this off with the last question. It's the last question. We're going to make the video long. But we're going to hit y'all with some more things. And real. send those questions so we can ask yeah, them. Yeah, so we can answer y'all's. Or just give us videos that y'all want us to do. We'll yeah. do them for y'all. For real, yeah. for real. Comment. I'm telling you. This is um this is the one that, the last question that we're going to ask. If you could change one thing about yourself, what would it be? Uh, if I could change one thing about myself, what would it be? Probably my... Uh, my patience. I wish I had a little bit more patience. I have like a low tolerance for like just pretty much everything. See? You know what I'm saying? Like uh, even even with myself, like I get impatient with myself. Mm -hmm. So if I was to change anything, I would uh, I would definitely change my patience. See? I, I'm a very impatient person, especially when I'm you know eager to do something or or something like that. I'm very impatient. I'm impatient with driving. See? <laughs> get out of my way! If I could change one thing with myself. It'll probably be black to white. <laughs> I want to be enough. white for like a day or two. Because yeah. I just want to see how the white people live. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I see black people go through some shit. I ain't going to lie to you. For me as a black person, I feel shit, my job right now. I ain't going to lie to you. Mm -hmm. I'm not getting no hours. Mm -hmm. But I just want to see if I was white. Would that change? Mm -hmm. I want to see if I was white. Could I be the president? Mm -hmm. I want to see if I was white. Could I be an entertainer on a fucking show mm -hmm. you know so i just want to just that would be probably one thing i would change if i could change it just to try it not to because i love being black don't get me wrong right, sorry yeah. to the white people out there i love y'all too but awesome. i just I'm like yeah i just you know i just want to try it and just see what it'd be like and see if things could change you know that's it i got one more question though this is the last question <laughs> he said that's it <laughs> okay this is the last question who was your fr first friend, and are they still in your life? <laughs> um, your first friend, Eric. This is my this is my family. Your but, first friend, but but this but I'm gonna say my friend. Um, I'm not gonna say her name, but uh, but she uh, but she's been she's been she's been rocking with me since uh. Cause I want to say about the sixth grade, sixth grade, me and her still talk on a daily basis. Um, uh, you know, she had my back uh, in school. She did, she did my homework and stuff like that. Uh, oh, so you was a bully? No. <laughs> no, she was no. doing your homework. No, she wanted to. I'm just kidding. Um, and then when we got older, we started going to parties together and, uh, and stuff like that. So, uh, so yeah, shout out to KB. She's still out there. That's my girl. We, uh, we kick it. Uh, when I go to Pontiac, that's the first person I see. Um, see yeah, cool. my girl. That's what's up. My first friend. He's still not. He's not in my life no more. I can tell you that now. He's not. Um, he had kids. He moved on. He's doing his thing. I'm proud of what he's doing. Um, I'm sure when we see each other, we still can connect. We can talk. Uh, my best friend, actually. I feel like um. I kind of let my cousins and them get kind of in the way of me and his relationship. Mm -hmm. uh, Cause they was, I mean, they was pretty jealous of a lot of shit that we had with each other. I was like, I swear that was my best friend. I was, I cannot believe that we are not even that close anymore. But WC, you know who you is if you see this video. Mm -hmm. um, but we as bros, we is locked all the way the fuck in. Mm -hmm. And it's just crazy to know that the relationship that we had all the way from where we was to where we ended it off at, um, and I think that he just was getting older, getting wiser. He had kids yeah. and stuff. People you know. grew apart, though. Yeah, and we just grew apart. That's what it was. I'm sure if we got around each other again, we would connect. But, you know, that was my best friend. And he just, you know, he's doing his thing now. And I'm proud of him. Mm -hmm. Shout out to WC. WC. But, yep, y'all, that's it. We gave y'all a little question. And, well, it was a little bit longer than what we expected. But it's all good. We was kicking it. We, we was kicking it. Y'all got to chill with us. We got to chill with y'all. And, you know. We're going to do it again. Again. For sure. Mm-hmm.